Hello everyone. Yes, it is Jane under all the hair, Jane Brown. I'm sorry that we are not able to meet in person, but every day that passes is a day closer to the happy day when we can. It's now 10 months since I stood before congregations at St Michael's and Holy Trinity and asked for volunteers to join a small fundraising working group for Project 640, the refurbishment of the interior here at Holy Trinity. Project 640, because in 2021, the church building will be 640 years young. I use the word young because throughout that time, the church has developed and evolved with the changing times around it, and by doing so has remained relevant and at the heart of the community. So, did we find a group? Yes, we did, and I thought it was time to introduce them to you. We have Hiranthi Fernando and Stuart Cole. Both have backgrounds in finance and are seeking support from grant-making trusts. Hiranthi led the same application process for our tower and window project and is pleased to have Stuart's help. Being able to tell those who make grants that we already have £350,000 is hugely beneficial as it provides confidence that this project will succeed. Andy Gordon is willing to turn his hand to anything and has been looking at crowdfunding and preparing press releases for the launch appeal. Gordon Simmons chairs the overarching refurbishment working group, liaising with our architect Philip and other professionals and keeping everything on track. I am also a member of that group. We are now in the position of having gained support for the refurbishment work from the relevant statutory bodies and have submitted the final documents required by the diocese to gain the faculty or permission to proceed. Soon we expect to be receiving quotes for the work, after which there is the potential for things to move quite quickly. We expect that stripping out the old heating, wiring and lighting systems will be undertaken first, followed by their replacement with greener, sustainable technology that will set us on our journey to becoming carbon neutral. Already we have the funds to do this, but following that, the most cost-effective way to make the other changes would be to carry straight on without a break. The other work includes moving the font to open up the back of church and relocating it by the Allen Chapel. You will also notice that the pulpit and lectern have changed places to facilitate a line of sight for those leading the service to the repositioned music group. The removal of the organ and replacement with a more compact instrument means we can open up the North Chapel and provide ramped access to the chancel. We hope to be able to replace the fixed choir storms with movable ones, thus giving flexibility in this area. Finally, having removed the inappropriate paint that was used in the late 1960s, we want to redecorate the whole church interior. So, what has the fundraising working group been doing? Well, because our church members were asked to cover the shortfall that arose when the church and centre had to be closed because of the pandemic, we did not feel able to ask them to also support these works at the same time. The restrictions set in place also prevented many fundraising events we might have organised. We realised that in addition to approaching the grant-making trusts, we needed to seek support from the people of Rayleigh, who use the church from time to time and that one way to get that appeal out was via social media. Now, this was not what I signed up to. Old dog and new tricks comes to mind. 
we were struggling and God could see that and was gracious because he sent us Miranda Edwards. Miranda had left her role as a digital fundraiser for a charity and was happy to give us some of her time and has been working on building a Facebook page for Project 640. By posting interesting snippets of information about our building and its contents onto the project's Facebook pages, we are slowly building a relationship with the local community and will soon be in a position to ask for their financial support as we approach a pivotal point in the project. I know you will be pleased to hear that Miranda has si since found employment with another charity. Over recent months, careful cost cutting and new significant lettings, together with the response of our congregations, has, have averted a shortfall in the general fund, such that the PCC feels that further appeals to support day-to-day -day expenditure are not necessary. This very good news means that today we can launch the appeal for Project 640. It's not the appeal launch that we would have chosen, but our hope is that you will see the benefits to the project and the lower final cost by making your donation now, at the start of the appeal and at the beginning of this new church year when we are looking forward. I said we are now at a pivotal point, a point at which we can save money by knowing that we are well on our way to having available that last £150,000 we need. This will enable a continuous project rather than having to negotiate a phased approach according to available funds. Our church family has supported and taken ownership of two significant projects during the last 25 years, namely the Link Project that built the parish centre and the tower and window restorations. The use of the centre by groups and annual access to the tower have opened up the life of the church to those who would not normally have entered its walls. Project 640 will give us flexibility to host more events and will offer a warm, bright, welcoming space for worshippers and visitors alike. The warm welcome is so often the start of our Christian journey. Before every meeting of both the refurbishment working group and the fundraising group, we open with prayer asking that God will guide us and be with us in the decisions we make. Please do pray for that same guidance as you ask God to place in your head and heart the response he knows you can make. In the new year, we shall send out to everyone on the church electoral roll a project brochure together with a response sheet that will give a range of giving options covering gifts, small and large, regular gifts, interest-free loans, the donation of shares and use of your own God-given talents. But if you wish to give now, brochures are at the back of church and I would like to thank AR Adams Limited for sponsoring them. Please continue to pray for the members of the Refurbishment Working Group and the Project 640 Fundraising Group and listen to what God is asking of you for the benefit of this and future generations. Until we meet in person, may you travel with God by your side and thank you all for your support.